Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it. This will be for, um, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't, yeah? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for this time period of April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Cancer. Cancer. One more shuffle. Right. And let's cut the deck. What do we got for you, Cancer? We're starting off with the Knight of Wands. What's going on here? Um, passion, spirituality, fast moving, fast pace. Let me see. Let's go on. Uh, let's see what else is coming out here. Four of Swords and Three of Swords. Ooh, ooh, oh gosh. Three of Cups. Ooh. All right, well... <laughs> Somebody got cheated on. Somebody was lied to. Somebody came roaring into your life and swept you off your feet and just dropped you back down and poof, disappeared. <laughs> For some of you. For others of you, someone there was cheating involved. Someone, yeah. Um, Ba, 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 ba. Sorry, give me a second. I'm uh, I'm channeling what's <laughs> what's going on here. Cause you're kind of you're clamming up about it, Cancer. Um, you're not. You don't really want to talk about it. You're very much in a four of swords state. You're resting. You're taking stock. You're kind of meditative. Um, but I see you. I see you, kind of like in a cave. They're in the woods. Yeah, they're in the woods in this picture, but I kind of see you hiding out in a cave, licking your wounds over this. Because whoever this uh, Knight of Wands represents, they really did a number on you. And I'm sorry to hear that. And for some people, it was a very, very public number. <laughs> like this was all out in the open and, and everybody saw your heart get trampled on. The good thing about it that I'm picking up from it is that the people that did witness this are very much on your side. I feel a lot of loving energy towards you in this situation right now. Like you do have a very good support system in this. Either way, whatever this means, like if, if I haven't really mentioned what your specific scenario is, um, there is heartbreak associated with it um, that involves another person in your life, Cancer. Um, but you do still have a very good support system. So I, some advice for you here is to really, really connect with your friends because your friends are there. They want to help you. They want to help you heal. They want to be a shoulder for you to cry on. Like get your girls, get your guys together and go out, have drinks, get wasted if you want. Just have a good damn time because you deserve it. All right, Cancer. Okay, let's get into your storyline here for this first half of the month. We have the High Priestess with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, freaking nah, secrets, deception, lies, someone cheated. And I don't even want to, and it's really, yeah, there in some scenarios, someone, someone cheated. But in other scenarios, like, it, it's not just um, uh, being inf uh, infidelity. It's also about being taken advantage of, being stolen from, like, Someone was, I mean, I don't really want to say it this way, but it's what I heard. It's like someone was out to get you. And they hit it very well. This really came out of nowhere for you, didn't it? Oof, gosh, I'm really sorry to hear this, Cancer, but let's move on. The Two of Cups with the Sun. Oh, okay. You, and honestly, I, I really I really want this to feel good, but it doesn't. Why? Because as soon as the Two of Cups came out, I started to hear that someone, someone betrayed you on purpose. Like, they came into your life making you think 
like they were your savior or they were like they were gonna like swoop you off your feet or something something like that and they just did it they literally just did it to steal something from you to take advantage of you in some way narcissism is what i'm picking up with the sun and the two of cups here i don't like that i don't like it at all like i want to like cry and rip someone to shreds right now because that is so disgusting. Ooh. All right, let's move forward. We have the Hierophant with Seven of Wands. Stand your ground, Cancer, and listen to your in your higher self, okay? Um, spirit, I, spirit is saying that we know this is a shitty situation, but the phrase I heard is, you manifested it for a reason, okay? Stand your ground here. St uh, um, don't let... Stand up for yourself. Don't let someone get under your skin like this anymore. Like, yes, this is a shitty situation, but use this as a way of learning, okay? Because ultimately, you did attract this into your life because of some sort of belief um, that you hold within your mind. So use this situation and use the energy of the sun that's here to illuminate what this really is for yourself. I can tell you that for a lot of you, this is, um, this is a matter of willpower. This is a matter of standing up for yourself and being honest and true to yourself and setting your boundaries and not letting someone else tell you where to set your boundaries for you, okay? That is the main message here. Um, so yeah, all of this is icky, but it's illuminating something that you gotta heal because if you don't heal it, if you don't work through it, you will continue to manifest it. And in some cases, this is not the first time this has happened for you. Um, it like could be it could be a cycle that's just been ongoing for quite a while. Um, but now that it's come back around again, you have the opportunity to see it for what it truly is and move forward with it, okay? Next, we have the world. See? Good. Endings. Completion. Um, with the Four of Cups. Yes. So, this is coming to an end. But it's not just the specific situation that's coming to an end. It's the cycle, okay? You have the Four of Cups here also. So, the, the, the world is talking about this cycle that's coming to the end. The Four of Cups here is suggesting that you meditate on this, that you really take some time to recuperate. Um, you've got the Four of Swords and you've got the Four of Cups. So, you're already kind of in this Four of Swords state, but you're in the Four of Swords state of restfulness and retreat, respite, because of the battle that's going on. Um, and because you're expecting to have to go back out there and fight again. But what Spirit is guiding you more towards is step out of the Four of Swords energy and more into the Four of Cups energy, okay? Don't be, don't be so up in your head about it. Um, don't be so uh, mentally driven by this. Instead, look at this from a, an emotional and spiritual point of view. What is this teaching me right now? How can I be better moving forward so I don't have to deal with this kind of situation again, okay? Moving on, we have the Five of Wands with... The Five of Cups. The Five of Wands and the Five of Cups just keep coming out together across the board lately. Um, and the Five of Swords, but that hasn't come out yet. It may not. But I was thinking about the Five of Swords because I was talking about the Four of Swords because when you come back out from the Four of Swords, then you reach the Five and that's... Eee, that's some icky fights. Um, but here for the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups for you, Cancer. Um, this chaos and conflicting energy around you, it, the lack of boundaries. Lack of boundaries is what I'm picking up here with the Five of Wands energy because I'm seeing just a bunch of people just coming in and just wreaking havoc on you. Like laying all their opinions and desires on you and you're just kind of providing it for them, but it's leaving you in the Five of Cups energy because your cups are spilling over and you're not in a place to refill them. Again, this is, a, this is, this is part of this cycle of, yeah, of people taking from you that you have to come to terms with and put an end to, okay? Next, 
The Eight of Wands. All right, all right, with the Nine of Cups. Good, okay. See, the sun is illuminating and turning everything around. And now there is a second message coming through with the Two of Cups and the sun. And it has to do with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So um, with the Eight of Wands, um, there is going to be swift movement, okay? There could even be uh, communication, swift communication. I'm seeing some of you like getting the picture and really um, putting an end to things with this Eight of Wands energy quickly and, and efficiently. Um, and that's ultimately going to lead you to wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. It's going to lead you to a place where you are feeling much better about yourself, where you can relax and enjoy you know, the pleasures of life and the manifestations that you have brought into your life. Um, and then the second, the second message that was coming through with the Two of Cups and the Sun um, is that ultimately the illumination that's happening is allowing you to give better stability and a better connection with yourself, okay, with the, with the Two of Cups. Because the Two of Cups doesn't always talk about um, a connection with, other, with another person. It can also talk about a partnership or connection with yourself, okay? And you are going to be taking the steps. I really see you, Cancer, as the individual here with this bow and arrow shooting at something to really put an end to it with precision. Okay, and that's really going to come with you uh, taking the time to do this meditation and understanding what's going on around you and what has helped you manifest this, okay? Next, we have the Ace of Wands with the Six of Swords. Yep, so um, this, this meditation that and this understanding you're going to come to is, go, is absolutely going to... Uh, start as an ace of wands energy um new spiritual passion new spiritual direction new spiritual senses uh, a, a sense of self um spirit spirituality uh spiritually wise excuse me um sorry i'm getting really anxious all of a sudden so i'm trying to <laughs> trying to calm down here um but but so you're gonna get this spark of creation is what i'm hearing um if you're familiar with uh, the, the musical Gar um, Children of Eden, that's where that song comes from. But literally, I'm hearing you, this meditation will bring you a spark of creation and you will be able to move forward to calmer waters as time goes on. All right? Finally, for you, Cancer, we have, oh, yeah, the lovers. And so this is another, another representation, just like the Two of Cups, this is another representation of a connection and a bond with yourself. Um, and here, this is a, a much stronger connection with yourself, Cancer, because you have, been able, you have been able to successfully illuminate and identify what it is you need to eliminate with the Eight of Wands here. Okay, um, and so you in turn have a much deeper, much stronger connection with yourself. I'm feeling uh, more trust in yourself. And then finally with the Six of Pentacles, right. So there will be, because of this balance within yourself, there's gonna be a balance of give and take. No longer being afflicted by this Seven of Swords energy, only Six of Pentacles energy, my friend, yes? balance of give and take, having people in your life that are willing to give back all of the, the, the love and devotion, I'm hearing care, compassion, acceptance that you give to them. Why? Because you have gone within and you have cleared up the uh, belief systems that have helped you manifest all of these other individuals that have been taking advantage of you and consistently leaving you in Three of Swords energy. Yes? All right, Cancer, there is your reading for April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys for the second half of your month. Bye-bye.